hi all welcome to my channel on basic mathematics and in this tutorial we are going to look at matrices first of all we will look at different types of matrices and then later we will look at how to add and subtract matrices matrices so the first of all we look at these different types of matrices the first one is a row matrix when you say a row matrix that's a matrix which contains only a single row so you can see that it has only a single row or one row and it has three columns and we have something called a dimension of the matrix that is the, the in the dimensions the first number is the number of rows that you are having the second number is the number of columns that you are having so in this case in this row matrix we have a single row therefore the row number is one and we have three columns and the column number is three so the next one is the column matrix that will contain a single column and any number of rows so here you can see there are three rows therefore the row number is three but there's only a single column therefore the column number is one so these are two basic types of matrices and one of the more important types of a matrix is a square matrix in that we have the dimensions to be equal to each other so first of all if you look at this matrix this is a two by two matrix that means you have two rows and two columns and similarly you can have a three by three matrix which contains three rows as well as three columns next we will look at a subset of square matrix that is the diagonal matrix so as you can see diagonal matrix is a square matrix first of all that means the row number and the column numbers are equal to each other but the special thing about the diagonal matrix is the values are only along the principal diagonal so in this 2 by 2 matrix you can see values only around the principal diagonal in this 3 by 3 matrix also the values are only along the principal diagonal the rest of the values are all equal to zero and then the next one is the identity matrix identity matrix matrix itself is a subset of diagonal matrix that will also make it a subset of a square matrix that means an identity matrix is a square matrix which contains values only along the principal diagonal so that will make it a diagonal matrix and the values that you have in are all equal to one so the values in the principal diagonal are all equal to one the rest of the values are all zero so that is the identity matrix now we will see addition and subtraction of matrices in order to add or subtract matrices we have to only check one condition that is the dimensions of the matrices has to be the same that means if you are going to add or subtract two matrices we have to always check whether they are having the same dimensions then only we can proceed and do it if not we cannot do that in the first example we are having we are going to add two two by two matrices so i will uh, first of all before adding those matrices i will give an idea about the different terms that you are using with the locations of different uh, elements of the matrix now this element if you look at this one this is in the first row and it is in the first column so this is called the one one element and this one is the one two element as it is in the first row and the second column and this one is the 2 1 element as it is in the second column and the first row and this is the 2 2 element that is it's in the second row and the second column so that's how you get the dimensions of the matrix as well so now if you are going to add these two matrices we have to look at this it's these locations of the matrices and add them separately that means i take the one one element of the first matrix and add it with the one one element of the second matrix so the one one element of the first matrix is three one one element of the second matrix is minus two so you add them three minus two and that will be one so in the next step we take the one two element of the first matrix one two element of the second matrix and add them minus one plus two will be uh, plus one and next we take the two one element of the first matrix and two one element of the second matrix and add them that is two plus one you will get three finally we'll get the two two element of the first matrix two two element of the second matrix and add them five minus three you will get plus two so this is how you can add two matrices in the second example we will look at the subtraction of uh, to three by three matrices as is as in the previous case we are going to look at the location of the matrix and we are going to do the subtraction so this is the one one element of the first matrix that is two this is the one one element of the second matrix that is three two minus three you will get minus one you take the one two element one two element you deduct 
one minus one minus minus four that will become plus four then the final answer is plus three and then you take the one three element and you deduct the one three element of the second matrix that is three minus one you will get the answer to be two so in this way you have to deduct each and every element according to its location and you can get the answer so this will be the resultant matrix that you are getting by that and if you look at the next example now this is the addition of two three by two matrices so in order to add those abstract you don't necessarily need to have square matrices but you can have any kind of matrix but as long as the dimensions are the same you can do the addition of subtraction so in this case though they are not square matrices they have the same dimension that is three by two and three by two and you can add them you take the one one element of the first matrix one one element of the second matrix and add them four plus three you will get seven one two element one two element minus two minus two that is minus four and to one element add with uh, to one element of the second matrix you will get one plus three that is four in this manner you can add the uh, different elements and then you can get the final answer which is also going to be a three by two matrix and finally if you look at this one we are if you try to add two uh, if you try to add a three by three matrix with a three by two matrix you can add these three values with these three and we can add these three values with these three but the problem is the last three values you cannot be adding with anything else because this is a two three by two matrix there is no third column therefore we cannot add these two matrices so as i told you earlier if the dimensions are different you cannot add or subtract matrices